All right, we're back. Let's go get Buzz. Now, there we go. Okay, so I was right. One of these do have a chest behind them. Ability ring plus. Now, babies and toddlers. That was over here. Get jumped by Gigas. Thank you. Oh, wait a second. I didn't. I didn't refill my my. Uh, Koopa coin. All right, I got that dodge off just in time. Okay. Let's do that again. All right. Let's do that again, and before I... Before I do... I better go to the Moogle shop. Actually, if I can just get there fast enough, I should just be able to use the combo finish. Sora, look! That must be the window Sarge mentioned. Oh, no one's here. Sweet. I guess even the game knew that I was going to just sweep right through if I had a, a finish ready. The entrance was blocked by blocks? Can you use the gigas to move them? Yeah, maybe. I'll try. All right, that made that easy. How are we going to reach that? Well, there are some more blocks here. Okay. 
I'm not too worried about my allies. Because no matter what, the Gigas will just take him out regardless. Come on. It's over. This should take them all out. Problem solved. Give me all my give me all my items. Now, if I remember right, there's supposed to be a lucky emblem in here. Or if not, there's at least a chest in here. I was gonna say, at least let me get the get the chest. All right, this big body's done. At least I know where the blocks are. Of course. Well, it's not like I have a time limit, but I do have to remember where here is so I can get here with the Gigas. This should get rid of a majority. All right, now I got to go down another level. And this should get rid of these. Problem solved. Now, where is that Gigas that I know is in here?
All right, that's set number two. I think there's either one or two more. Yeah, behind here. My tackle still doing a good amount of damage. There's more. Blocks. All right, through here. Are we going to complain? All right, up to the dark corridor. I should be able to run up this. There we no eyes head up. Yeah. Nope. I hate this part. And a save point and um, Buy one of these. There's a mailbox in Twilight Town. And right through the dark corridor we go. It looked like this? Yep. Here goes.
Xehanort! What do you want with my friend? Look, such tremendous darkness. All because he was ripped away from the boy who cares about him most. Does that mean... we'll all be like Buzz? If we don't find Andy? Wrong! Distance doesn't matter. Andy's part of their hearts, just like my friends are part of mine. <clears throat> you can't rip that apart. <sighs> what? Your friends are your power? <laughs> How very true. But if the light of friendship is a form of power, the darkness of being alone is a power even greater. Darkness is the heart's true nature. Whatever you're talking about, I don't care. Put Buzz back the way he was, then get lost. Or else what, Toy? Yeah, I am a toy. And a friend. My guess is no one's ever loved you before. Because you know nothing about hearts and love. There are hearts all around us, trying to connect. Your loneliness only made Woody and Buzz's connection stronger. That's the heart's true nature, to never, ever let go. Wherever they are, Andy and the other toys haven't let go either. Yeah. You can't keep us from Andy. We're going home no matter what. And taking Buzz. Xehanort, you're so caught up in finding the shadows, you forgot about the light that cast them. Gotta get this wagon train a moving. Woody. Wait, how did I get here? Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Maybe somebody switched you into dark and stormy mode. But I don't have a. Thank you, Woody. Good to have you back, Buzz. Hey, come on! Huh? We can't hold him much longer! Don't give up, guys! <laughs> so, even empty puppets can be given strong hearts. I am going to have to remember that. Remember this. Our hearts will always be connected to Andy's. No matter what you do. And that's something you'll never understand. Because you're hollower than any toy. But now I know a heart can be placed in the vessel of our choosing. For that, let me give you a parting gift to play with. Wait! Find the heart's joint to yours. Huh? <gasps> There! Careful! Whoa! Here goes! The UFO boss on steroids. All right, let's get some damage quick. All right, Buzz and Woody are still good, and so is Donald and Goofy.
Yeah, he would have barreled me off eventually. Alright, that's what I get for getting a little too careless there. Alright, ultimate form. And now you're done. I can't lie, I was hoping for that situation command to pop up. So Xehanort got away again. Yeah, he's a big chicken. I'm sorry. What? Hmm? I wanted to get you back to the real world. <sighs> it does seem that we're trapped here. We'll never get home. Yeah, stuck like pigs. Our position appears fixed. Oh, no! Oh. A shame we'll have to stay a little longer with our new best friends. Huh? After all the adventures we've had, we're not quite ready to say so long. <laughs> you guys... I'm sorry that I was being so stubborn. Please forgive me. Hey, you were just looking out for your friends. No biggie. Yeah, somebody's got to be the sensible one. Huh? Especially since Woody's always getting in trouble. Gorge, that sounds a little like Sora, don't it? Huh? Yeah, I like the Pokemon one. Like Buzz. Kinda. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, if we do go back to the real world, we'll never see you again, right? Oh. But what about Andy? You care about him so much. Oh. And he's still right here with us. Oh. If we follow our hearts, We'll find them again. <laughs> yeah. So, Sora, are you going after the guy in the black coat? Something tells me we can't join you on that mission. That's okay. Because you've become part of our hearts. Oh. So let us become a part of yours. <laughs> Thank you. Now, off you go. To infinity and beyond. Ah, <laughs> 
talk about the problem of writing. You had to remind me? Well, gosh, we just want to help keep you motivated. I was thinking about Roxas. He's trapped here in my heart. But he needs a body to be himself again. Well, don't worry. Yenzo's working on a way to get him free. Oh, bet you he's got the perfect body all lined up. You've got the gummy phone, Sora. Why don't you try giving him a call? Uh, I guess so. Yeah, why not? Oh, hiya, Sora. Your Majesty! <laughs> Hey, uh, hey, what? Wrong number? No, Rico and I are visiting Radiant Garden. Actually, we were just about to call you guys, but it looks like you beat us to the punch. Sora, is something wrong? I wanted to pick your brain. In order for us to recomplete Roxas, he needs a body, right? Yeah, to put his heart in. Hmm. Huh? Replicas. Huh? Well, replicas are basically human. Oh, uh, what? Oh, yeah. You wouldn't remember. The previous Organization 13 developed replicas, realistic vessels to place hearts in. They're so real, in fact, that you'd actually mistake them for people. And with hearts, the replicas will become people. Cool. But if we get our hands on a replica, will Roxas look like himself when he's recompleted? Yup. The replica takes the form of the heart inside it. That's perfect! I'll talk to Ienzo. He was in the organization back then, so he might know more. Great. Thanks. Wait. Do you guys think they're after replicas too? Nope, they definitely said a black box. Who's that? The organization and Maleficent. Oh, oh. Mm. I guess we forgot to mention it. Huh, it's okay. But there's something you guys should know about one of their members. Huh? So let the rest of us worry about Roxas and Naminé for now. You journey on and keep an eye out for Terra. No, 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 no. Stop that! <laughs> <laughs> they don't change, do they? <laughs> nope, that's their best quality. Well, we gave Merlin the vestments for Kyrie and Axel. Let's go stop by Ansem the Wise's study. Right. Why can't I go outside? The outside world is a dangerous place. You must stay here where you're safe. Do you understand, Flower? Those lights appear every year on my birthday, only on my birthday, and I can't help but feel like they're, they're meant for me. I need to see them, and not just from my window, in person. I have to know what they are.
it sure is a pretty day. <clears throat> yeah, the weather is great. It'd be perfect for a picnic. Why do you think we come here? Got me, Donald. We'll figure it out as we go. <laughs> okay. I'm sure we were brought to this world for some good reason, but can't we sweat it later? Fine with me. I swear this does no harm. Donald has to jinx everything. Still probably get one shotted. You see, as soon as you mention them, they show up. There goes our picnic. I, I didn't do it. It's okay. Let's send these guys packing. Say, since you three seem to know what you're doing, mind if I leave this one to you? Yep. We'll take care of them. Go on, skedaddle. You have my thanks. Whew. The horse was enough. Don't need any monsters on my trail. What? What's your name? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Name's Flynn, Flynn Rider. Oh, watch out. They look mad. Slowly. Slowly. Out of here. <laughs> Oh, at least I didn't get one shotted. I do need a picture of one of these. Now let's get rid of the rest of them. There we go, perfect. Huh? Where'd Flynn go? He's the dead I think I saw him go that away. Huh? But that away is just a dead end. Yeah, that's puzzling. Well, did he? Hmm. I say we investigate. Flynn, where are you? Flynn? All right, yeah, nothing here. Let's go get the map, which should be in this. got away safe, right? Oh. Hey, now Sora's gone too. This way, guys. It's a secret passage. Oh.
How you doing? The name's Flynn Ryder. How's your day going? Huh? Who else knows my location, Flynn Ryder? All right, hang on, Blondie. Rapunzel. Gesundheit. Here's the deal. I was in a situation gallivanting through the forest when I stumbled upon it. Oh. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. Where is my satchel? I've hidden it. Somewhere you'll never find it. So, what do you want with my hair? To cut it? Huh? Sell it? No! Wait, you don't want my hair? Why on earth would I want your hair? Look, I was being chased, I saw a tower, I climbed it, okay? End of story. Hmm? Okay, Lynn Ryder. I'm prepared to offer you a deal. A deal? Look this way. Do you know what these are? You mean the lantern thing they do for the princess? Lanterns? I knew they weren't stars. Well, tomorrow evening, they will light the night sky with these lanterns. You will act as my guide, take me to these lanterns, and return me home safely. Then, and only then, will I return your satchel to you. That is my deal. Yeah, no can do. Unfortunately, the kingdom and I aren't exactly simpatico at the moment, so I won't be taking you anywhere. Something brought you here, Flynn Rider. Call it what you will, fate, destiny. So I have made the decision to trust you. A horrible decision, really. I am serious. Oh. <clears throat> Let me get this straight. I take you to see the lanterns, bring you back home. Then you give me back my satchel? I promise. And when I promise something, I never, ever break that promise. Ever. Oh, what to do? I cannot let her find that tiara. Okay, just think. I need the satchel, and Blondie has it. There might be more monsters out there. I've got it. The three guys in the funny outfits. They look tough enough to come in handy. All right, fine. I'll take you. But on ah. one condition. My three sidekicks come along. The fact that he had the nerve to call us sidekicks. Look at that. A tower. <sighs> Let's check it out. <laughs> Better put this in the mail. All right. We'll be checking out the tower in the next one. I wonder who put a tower here.